Okay, now let's factor this next one by grouping, but it's going to have a, a little twist at the end, a negative greatest common factor. So it looks like the first two terms, xy minus 2y, have a common factor of y, and the last two terms uh, don't have a common factor. Maybe its common factor is 1. So let's go ahead and take the y out of the first group. And so if you take a y out of the first group, you're left with x minus 2, factoring out a y, plus, and we have negative x plus 2. Okay. Well, if you notice in this problem, x minus 2 and negative x plus 2 are almost the same. So if you factor out a greatest common factor of negative 1 on the second group only, so we'll leave the first group alone, we'll leave the first group alone plus, and we'll factor out the negative 1, so we'll put a negative 1 out in front, and factoring out a negative 1 changes this to x, positive x, minus 2. So now they match exactly, and we can finish. We can go ahead and finish our factoring. So we'd have x minus 2 as a greatest common factor of the whole thing now of our two groups, and y plus a negative 1, which is the same as y minus 1. Okay. So here's our solution. You might check it to make sure it's right. Well, if you foil it through, you'd have, um, I'll do it in a different color so it doesn't show up quite so well. If you did it in a different color, you'd have x, y, minus x, minus 2y, and I'm out of room here on the edge of my paper, plus 2. Sorry about that. But if you check that, that is exactly what we started with, but everything's in just a different order. We use community property and it's the same thing. So x minus 2 times y minus 1 is the factored representation of our original problem.